Welcome to Mumbai, the largest city of India. We started our journey from a hotel near Mumbai airport. The city of Mumbai is famous for high-rising buildings with panoramic sea view. Ceiling Bridge. This is the Cable Estate Bridge with a length of 5.6 km, creating a spectacular architecture. And from over the bridge, you can see the high rising, magnificent buildings. Now we're at Mumbai Main Drive. The Mumbai Marine Drive is also known as the Queen's Necklace due to its semicircular shape. It's a 3.6 km drive at the bank of the Arabian Sea. We are now at Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus. Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus is a historic terminal train station which is declared as a UNESCO World Heritage Site due to its historic and architectural significance. Dear friends, we are now at Gateway of India. The Gateway of India is an arch monument built in the early 20th century which was erected to commemorate the landing of King George V and Queen Mary on their visit to India in 1920. Now you see the Taj Mahal Palace Hotel. It's a five-star luxury hotel situated next to the Gateway of India. It's well known due to the terrorist attack inside it in 2008. Now we are moving to the boat terminal near the Gateway of India from which we will sail for the Elephant Island. Boat trips start at 9 am and there are boats every 30 minutes. Last boat leaves Gateway of India at 2.30 pm. You cannot but be mesmerized at the scenic beauty of the Arabian Sea. Ships and bridges, mountains in the islands, magnificent buildings, and the wavy sea water. Now we have reached at Elephant Island. There is a small train on the boat station that will take you to the Elephant Cave just within few minutes. With an area of 60 square kilometers, the island is covered with trees and mountains.
There are a number of antique shops for tourists with beautiful items. But beware of monkeys, they steal things and foods. And finally, we're at the Elephant Caves. Elephant Caves are a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a collection of rocky cave temples mainly dedicated to the Hindu god Shiva. This is known as the Trimurti sculpture having three heads. The three heads are said to represent three essential aspects of Shiva, creation, protection and destruction. There are other sculptures and statues signifying different religious motives. Wish that you all enjoy the video very much. For more videos, please get connected with me by subscribing my channel. And don't forget to like and share my contents. Thank you.